Hello and welcome. So in this lecture we are going to learn how can we create a mailbox. So uh, when you just go to your exchange server, um, then uh, the first thing that you will see is recipients. In this section you have got like mailboxes. So this is one of the recipient type. And in here you already know what is a user mailbox. So when you click on this add button, you can simply click user mailbox or linked mailbox. So we do not have any other forest, so we cannot create a linked mailbox at this time. So creating a user mailbox is easy. What you can do is you can simply click on user mailbox and then it is going to ask for the alias and the alias is going to be the portion of the email address. So for example, uh, Parviz at angeltech.com or john at angeltech.com. So what I will do is I'll simply type john in here and then you see in here the existing user option. The existing user option is used whenever you have an existing user in Active Directory which is just a user uh, which is not mail enabled user. So just a user means that you have created an account in Active Directory so that he or she can log in to the domain but uh, cannot use it to uh, that account to send and receive emails. So if you want to select existing user, you will simply browse and then it will browse for all users that is not mailed enabled. But here we will select new user. So new user first name is John and then uh, green is the last name oh sorry this is initial so uh, I will select last name as green and then this is display name so I'll just select John Green uh, IT department for example uh, this is going to be the ID department um, for example uh, desktop support so now uh, this is going to be this the display name so that everyone can see John Green uh, belongs to IT department and he is uh, desktop support so which organizational unit you want to use in Active Directory to locate to save this uh, user account this user mailbox so I'll just select Elmjo tech this is one of my organizational units and then ID department so whenever you are creating a structure for your organizational units make sure that you create them in a very uh, uh, by following the best practices uh, so for each department make sure you create an organizational unit so that you can save or uh, those users into that uh, uh, OU so in future if you need to search them if you need to apply a group policy um, you, it will be much easier for you so username is going to be John oh sorry it will be first initial and last name J Green and then password is anything that you want to set next save so that's how you can create a user mailbox again we cannot create a linked mailbox because we do not have any other forest so um, what we will do is we will walk through all these options in here that we have for the recipient types once we are done creating them setting them up we will be uh, working on them practically we will be working on all these uh, all these options practically so one other user I want to create for you just in case and that is going to be uh, Jeff and this is also new user the first name is Jeff the last name is green Jeff green organizational unit is going to be mjotech and then Jeff green I cannot use this because I used it for um, the other one so I'll just make it G Jeff and then password so this is going to be for Jeff Green so we created an account for Jeff Green so that's how you can create user mailboxes 
So uh, I hope you have learned something and in the next lecture we will be uh, working on groups. Um, I'll see you next lecture. Thank you.